President Obama wants to paint a picture of optimism over federal deficit reduction, the goal to reduce the deficit $4 trillion over the next 12 years. That's the core of the debate that we're having right now. Both Democrats and Republicans agree that we should reduce the deficit. Speaking from a town hall meeting in Virginia, Obama started a three-day tour of budget-cutting proposals at a time when polls show that Americans disapprove of his record on the deficit. We've got a policy that is very good for wealthy bankers who get bailouts and who make money on Wall Street. It's very bad for a lot of average Americans who get crushed. Republicans want to cut $6 trillion from government spending over the next decade, based on reductions in health care, social programs for the poor and elderly, and education. Obama would like to see more tax revenue come from the wealthiest of Americans, but some analysts say this could cripple the economy. There are a lot of people unemployed because of what he's done. Uh, there are new wars started around the country, be, around the world, because of what he's done. Uh, he's expanded the occupation of Afghanistan, which he said he was going to end. Uh, he now has a track record, so it's more difficult for him to campaign based on promising things. If you ask most Americans, the number who think that the economy is getting worse more than it's getting better is at its highest level since the president began his term. He's also facing job approval ratings that show that most people disapprove of his job performance. After Americans shelled out billions in tax dollars by the end of tax season this year, in the latest Washington Post ABC News poll, a slim 50 percent majority said they disapprove of the president's job performance, compared to 47 percent who do approve. Hopefully this coming year will be a lot more profitable for everybody and the economy will turn around, completely turn around. Experts say for Obama to get back on top again, he'll need to go a little heavier on actual numbers and lighter on rhetoric. He promised he would never increase spending a single dollar without cutting it somewhere else. This is a guy who's added several trillion dollars to the debt already. So from the get-go, he lies easily and he said he was going to not be a big spender, and he was. President Obama's latest message is clearly aimed at the middle class at a time when their feelings on the economy are bottoming out. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.